Now, inshallah, in today's class, we are going to do some proofs of the formulas of beta functions and gamma functions. Now, see on the board, there is a formula beta of n comma n equals to beta of n comma. Let me prove this one. Now, how to start? Let me use the definition of the beta function. You know, beta of m comma n equals to integration 0 to 1 x power m minus 1 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 dx. See, there are many methods. I am using this method. Let me use the formula of definite integration. Integration 0 to a f of x dx. We can write like this 0 to a f of. In case of x, we can write a minus x dx. Now, watch carefully. Integration 0 to a f of x dx. We can write 0 to a f of. In place of x, we can write a minus x. In place of x, we can write a minus x. In the same way, you use the formula here. 0 to 1 in place of x we can write a minus x that is 1 minus x 1 minus x power m minus 1 1 minus in place of x again we can write 1 minus x so i am writing bracket here 1 minus x whole power n minus 1 dx in place of x 1 minus x in place of x 1 minus x now we multiply with minus here 0 to 1 1 minus x power m minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 is plus x power n minus 1 dx. Now, one step is left. See here. Now, let me change this one equals to integration 0 to 1. Plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled. What is left here? x power n minus 1. Now, what is here? 1 minus x power m minus 1. Now, we got the proof. How? In place of m, we got n here. Now, in place of n, we got m here. So, this is the proof. So, we can write this as beta of n comma n. Therefore, beta of m comma n equals to beta of n comma n. Now, you see the next question. Next proof. Beta of m comma n equals to integration 0 to infinity x power m minus 1 by 1 plus x power m plus 1. Let us start with using the definition of the beta of m comma n. We know what is the definition of this. This is integration 0 to 1, x power m minus 1, 1 minus x power n minus 1 dx. The first step is very important how to start. We want 1 plus x in the denominator. We want x plus 1 plus x in the denominator. So we have to start like this. Put x equals to 1 divided by 1 plus y. This is the main step, first step how to start. At last, we can change the variables. We can change in place of y, x. So, we'll get 1 plus x. Okay. So, we have to start put x equals to 1 by x. Now, let me differentiate this one. d by dx of x will be dx. We know what is d by, d by dx of 1 by x. d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x squared. d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x squared. In the same way, d by dy of 1 by y will be minus 1 by y square 1 plus y whole square dy. So, we got the x here, we got dx here, c here. Now, we got x sin dx. Also here, the limits will change. Let us solve for limits. You see, you bring here, this is 1 plus y into x equals to 1. Bring x here, 1 plus y equals to 1 by x. Bring 1 also here, so y equals to 1 by x minus 1. Now, how to so find the limits? First, you put x equals to 0. If you put x equals to 0, y equals to 1 by 0. 1 by 0 will be infinity. 1 by 0. Infinity minus or plus any number will be infinity only. So, we get this as lower limit. Now, next step, you put x equals to 1 for the upper limit. This is lower limit when we keep x equals to 0. Whatever value we are getting, y, this is lower limit. When we put x equals to 1, then whatever y value is, is the upper limit. If you put x equals to 1, 1 by 1 is 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So, this is the upper limit. So, let me change the question beta of m comma n equals to integration 0 to 1. We have to change now integration infinity to 0, integration of infinity to 0, x. The value of x is 1 by 1 divided by 1 plus y power m minus 1 into 1 minus x. The value of x is 1 by 1 plus y power m minus 1 into dx. So, I will clear it. Lastly, dx, what is the value of dx? We are having dx is minus 1 by 1 plus y whole square b. Now, the first step, let me change here. Watch carefully. Let me take out this minus. If you take out this minus, this in 
limits will interchange. You will get limits like this 0 to infinity. This upper limit will become lower, lower limit will become upper if we take out this minus. So we have solved for minus. You see here 1 power a number will be only 1. So 1 we write as it is. Write this 1 plus y power m minus 1 first. Now you take LCM, if you take LCM, this will be multiplied with 1. 1 plus y into 1 will be 1 plus y minus 1 by 1 plus y power n minus 1. Now what is left here? This term is left here 1 by minus. We already solved this one whole square d. Now see here this plus minus will get cancelled. Now if you watch carefully in the numerator this is 1, this is 1. What is left in the numerator? y power n minus 1. Now what are the terms in the denominator? This is 1. 1 plus y power m minus 1. The second term is this 1 plus 1 plus y power 1 plus y power n minus 1. Now last day this one 1 plus y whole square d. Now see here since the bases are same in the denominator we can add the powers 0 to infinity y power n minus 1 divided by 1 plus y power m minus 1 plus n minus 1 plus 2. Bases are same, we have added the powers. Bases are same, we have added. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 will get cancelled. Divide. So what is left here? Integration 0 to infinity y power n minus 1 by 1 plus y power m plus n. See there is slight change here. We know the, in the answer we, have, we must get here m. So we can replace, just now we have proved the formula beta of m comma n is same as beta of n comma n. That is, we can change interchange in place of m n and in place of n m. So let me change 0 to infinity. In place of m, you, n you write m. So y power m minus 1 divided by 1 plus y power n plus m is same as m plus n, m plus n d. So we got the answer, just the differences we got in terms of y, but variables can be interchangeable. Let me write lastly, in place of y, we can write x. So therefore, the last step is beta of m comma n equals to, let you change the into layer values variable in terms of x, you write m minus 1 divided by 1 plus x power m plus n. So this is the proof of, this is the proof of the question. Now you see here next proofs. I written two proofs here. Beta of m comma n equals to 2 into integration 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2m minus 1 theta cos power 2m minus theta d theta. I am doing one thing. From this proof I will get this proof. Okay. So the stress will be reduced. Let me prove first this one. From this we can prove this. If the question is asked for this, first you prove this one. Then later you prove this one. Okay, so let me start for the first proof. What is the definition of beta? Beta of m comma n equals to integration 0 to pi by 2 x power m minus 1 1 minus x power m minus 1 degrees. So let me start. So you watch carefully. We have to bring in sine and cos. We have to bring in sine and cos. So therefore let me put x equals to sine square theta. Put x equals to sine square theta. If you put here 1 minus sine square theta, it will become cos square theta. So we'll get sine and cos. Now let me differentiate the differentiation of x to dx. Here watch carefully. We have to differentiate two times. First, we must think that this is x square because power is here x square. d by dx of x square is 2x. So this will be 2 sine theta into again we have to differentiate sine theta. Now d by dx of sine theta is cos theta d by dx of sin theta is cos theta. So this is the value of dx, 2 sin theta cos theta, and this is the value of x. Now also the limits will change now, let me write this, again I am writing this one like this, sin square theta equals to x. Now see here, let me put the lower limit, what is the lower limit we are having, so, sorry, here the formula we are having integration 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Let me put x equals to 0, the value of theta will be lower limit. Then x equals to 0, the value of theta will be upper limit. So first let me put x equals to 0. If we put x equals to 0, then sin square theta equals to 0 means sin theta equals to 0. Therefore theta equals to 0, theta equals to 0. This is the lower limit. This is the lower limit. Again put x equals to 1. 
put x equals to 1 sin square theta equals to 1 means sin theta will be 1 sin 1 means 90 degrees 90 degrees means pi by 2 if you want to write like this like you can write like this x y previously the limits are 0 to 1 x values now values y values are 0 to pi by 2 so limits changes from 0 to 1 to 0 to pi by 2 0 to 1 to 0 to pi. now let me change this one what will become beta of m comma n beta of m comma n equals to integration of equals to integration of 0 to we got the limits pi by 2 here we are having x power m minus 1 x is sin square theta power m minus 1 into 1 minus x means sin square theta power n minus 1 power n minus 1 and d theta the value of d theta we got 2 sin theta cos theta d theta you do one thing you bring this to outside so we can write like this 2 into integration 0 to pi by 2 now you do one thing you multiply the power 2 into m 2 m 2 into 1 2 m this will become sine to the power of 2 m minus 2 theta 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta 1 minus sin square theta is cos square you multiply power this also becomes cos power 2 into n 2n minus 2 ones are 2 theta now what is left here your left is sin theta then cos theta d theta now you see here these two are basically same you can add the powers these two are same you can add the powers here power is 1 1 so let me add the powers if you add the powers you see what happens so this will be 2 into integration 0 to pi by 2 sine power 2m minus sorry 2m minus 2 plus 1 theta cos power 2n minus 2 plus 1 theta d theta now we got the answer now therefore beta of m comma n equals to 2 into integration 0 to pi by 2 sine power 2m minus 1 theta cos power 2n minus 1 theta d theta now from this let me subs prove the next one what is the proof we have to do the next one next one we have to prove like this integration 0 to pi by 2 sine power m theta cos power n theta d theta equals to 1 by 2 into beta of m plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 let me continue this one to prove this one okay let me continue this one to prove this one how to do watch carefully very easy here the power is 2m minus 1 here the power is only m so let me put 2m minus 1 equals to something suppose p and this one 2m minus 1 suppose we keep q so let me change like this watch carefully what is the method let see here let 2m minus 1 equals so suppose i am supposing this as p and 2n minus 1 equals to q now from this you find m and from this you find n and substitute this so what will happen 2m equals to p plus 1 m will be p plus 1 by 2 here we can put 2n equals to q plus 1 n equals to q plus 1 by 2 now change this one beta of therefore beta of m b m the value of m we got p plus 1 by 2 comma n n value we got q plus 1 by 2 equals to 2 into integration 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power of 2a minus 1 we got p here into cos q theta d theta now at last you do one thing you bring this to here it will be divided so we can write like this there for integration of 0 to pi by 2 integration of 0 to pi by 2 sine power p theta cos power q theta d theta if you bring this two here it will be divided 1 by 2 beta of p plus 1 by 2 q plus 1 by 2 this is the proof if you want to change again you can change the variables in place of p you can write m in place of q you can write m if or else you want to show like this you can show in place of p i am writing m so sine power m theta cos power n theta d theta equals to 1 by 2 into beta of m plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 so this is the proof we got now see the next proof gamma of half equals to we have to prove root pi gamma of half equals to 
we have to prove. There are many methods, I am showing one method here. See here, suppose we know, let me change the beta of m comma n in terms of gamma. We already know this gamma of m into gamma of n by gamma of m plus n. Now we want half, no, you do a thing, put m equals to half, n equals to half, m equals to half, n equals to half. So what will this become? Beta of half comma half equals to gamma of half into gamma of half divided by gamma of 1 by 2 plus half. So this half plus half will become 1. Gamma of 1 will be 1. So beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to gamma of half into gamma of half is gamma of whole square by gamma sorry by gamma of 1. Gamma of 1 is 1 so we can leave this one. Therefore beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to gamma of half whole square. Let me note this as 1. Now again let me do one thing. I am using this formula. Beta of m comma n equals to integration 2 into integration 0 to pi by 2 sine power 2m minus 1 theta cos power 2n minus 1 theta do theta. Now again we let me put m equals to n equals to 1 by 2. So what will be the here beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to 2 into integration 0 to pi by 2 sine power 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 theta cos power 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 minus 1 theta d theta. Now watch carefully this 2 2 will get cancelled 1 minus 1 0 2 into 0 to pi by 2 sin power 1 minus 1 0 sin power 0 means 1 cos power 0 is 1 that is 1 okay so let me integrate now 2 into integration of 1 will be x integration of 1 is x so in here integration of 1 will be theta limits are 0 to pi by 2 now what we have to do we have to upper limit minus lower limit the formula for this is upper limit pi by 2 minus lower limit 0 this 2 2 will get cancelled so here we get beta 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to pi let you note this one too in the first one we got this as beta of half comma half equals to this one and this one therefore from 1 and 2 we can say like this gamma of 1 by 2 whole square equals to pi or to bring this to here it will be root pi gamma of 1 by 2 equals to root pi gamma of 1 by 2 equals to root pi there is one more easy method let me do that also okay same question we can do by another method i am showing that also very easy method see here we know we have to prove what we have to prove gamma of half equals to root pi gamma of half equals to root pi let me use this formula we know this formula gamma of n into gamma of 1 minus n e 1 minus n sorry equals to pi by sin n pi because we have to get half so put n equals to 1 by 2 so this will become gamma of half into gamma of 1 minus 1 by 2 equals to pi divided by sin any value is half into pi this is sin pi by 2 means 90 sin 90 is 1 gamma of 1 by 2 into gamma of you take lcm 2 into 1 is 2 2 minus 1 1 by 2 equals to pi by sin 90 is 1 no need to write 1 in the denominator. Now gamma of half into gamma of half will be gamma of half whole square equals to pi. You take out root 2 from here, it will be root pi. So gamma of 1 by 2 equals to root pi. So we got the next one. So we can prove like this also. So today in today class, we have done 3 proofs, 3 to 4 proofs inshallah. In the next class, there are two tough proofs, very important proofs. One is this one, beta of relation between beta and gamma function this proof is very important but now if you do it, it will be uh, the class will be so lengthy so let me do this proof and this proof in the next class somewhat difficult proofs this are so let me continue in the next class to prove this two proofs inshallah so i request you all to subscribe my channel share and link with your friends and like my channel inshallah we are going to continue in the next class inshallah